I know he's around that corner. He is dropping my teammates. There we go. No more of that. Don't worry, buddy. Oh, my gosh. My team has a lot of Christmas noobs, but that's okay. Yo, what is up guys? It's Alicia here, aka Sean, and today guys, I got another special gift. I bought myself some more control freaks. Can you guys see that? I know it's pretty dark, but I got, I bought some more control freaks because honestly, the ones I got, I got phantoms not too long ago, and they're great, but they weren't the same as my older control freaks. The ones I had for the 360 were the ultras, and honestly, I like the ultras a lot more than the phantoms, so I decided to buy a new pair of normal, not, I guess they're not normal, they're called ultras. They have control freak ultras, they have vortex phantoms, they have all these different kinds of control freaks, but I, honestly, I prefer the ultras over the phantoms, so... Let's open this up. I guess I'm going to open open my gifts. I get every single time. I call it a gift, even though I bought it. You can buy your own gifts. I bought some gifts for myself. I really hope you guys all had an awesome, an awesome Christmas because I did. All of my family came over. We had a blast. We had a, a nice dinner, and we all exchanged gifts, and it was really nice. Really nice. I love spending time with my family because it doesn't happen too often where we're all together eating food and stuff well let's see what we got here all right we got another that's a receipt a sticker those are pretty cool where's the product here we go here we go ladies and gents check it out control freaks fps freak ultras made for xbox one here is the ultras, and here are, you can't really tell, but one's black, one's white, and here are the uh, phantoms. I think I prefer the ultras more than the phantoms, but you know what? I'm going to show you guys, and I'll tell you guys at the end of this video, after I'm done recording a live gameplay, because I want to test these out, and I missed, I missed my old ultras. Let's try these bad boys out. Yo, what's up, guys? Let's do this. I'm rocking the control freaks. I only use one of them. I put one on the right stick because I don't think it's. Hey, you don't need to laugh that we're on the I don't think it's uh needed. What am I trying to do here? Mute players. Mute all. I don't like when I have people talking in my ears when I'm trying to focus and play. Work, but soldier. I only put one of the control freaks on the right stick because having it on the left is kind of pointless. And it's gonna take me a little bit getting used to. This is my first game using these, so it might go good. It might go bad. We'll see, though. I miss using these things so much because for most of the time I played Xbox One, I was without any control freaks, and that kind of uh, that kind of sucked. I'm camping and waiting for this guy because I know I know he's around that corner. He is dropping my teammates. There we go. No more of that. Don't worry, buddy. Oh my gosh. My team has a lot of Christmas noobs, but that's okay. Everyone has to be new sometimes. Uh oh, there we go. Oh my goodness, thank you, Focus. The Focus perk helps me win gunfights so much more. But these control freaks, I'm sure most of you guys know about them. That's not a person, that's a brick wall. These control freaks um, help you become a more accurate player. Because it's increasing the length of your stick, which in turn increases the leverage, which pretty much means it helps you be more accurate at long range because with it you're allowed to be more precise with every shot you take and overall you'll just aim better i'm playing normal team deathmatch and i don't know why because normally i play ground war and there's a lot more players holy crud dude where the hell was i getting shot from i don't know but he died now someone died there he is i seen him like, from that long, long shot, you gotta be very accurate, and these things definitely help at range. Here we go, baby! Nice! Oh! I heard his footsteps, but I thought he was behind me. Or no, I thought he was in front of me. He killed me from behind, what am I saying? 
Yeah, I really wish I was playing Ground War because there's so many more players to kill. No! Oh, thank God I lived. Those freaking IEDs. They get me every time. When there's more players, you get more kills and it's easier to find people because all these maps are... Ginormous. Where did that guy go? Uh-oh. Where are you guys? I hear footsteps. Where the... There you are. Jesus. I heard that guy run around everywhere. But I couldn't spot him. Having Amplify, the perk that allows you to hear enemy... There we go. Amplify allows you to hear enemy footsteps louder. It's very, very helpful, but sometimes... It's scary because they sound closer than they are. Sometimes you misjudge where the enemies are. And b just because you have a gaming headset, it does not always mean you'll be amazing with it. It really takes time to adjust and to get used to it. People tell me all the time they just bought a gaming headset, but they can't hear footsteps like I can hear them. And when I first got my headset, it definitely, it definitely wasn't this. Oh gosh. Up these stairs. There we go. Thank you very much, headset. No! Oh my goodness! Jesus, these IEDs are blowing up. Just barely killing me every single time. But using a headset, it takes time to get used to. And it takes time to, to really learn where they are coming from. Damn. I keep getting surprised. Whenever I, whenever I talk a lot... I focus less whenever I don't talk I focus more that's why it's sometimes tough to balance them but this control freak it feels very natural the ultras I like the feel of them it feels like a normal grip a normal uh, stick I mean but a little a little more grippy it feels obviously taller because it is it's like a whole stick longer but I think it definitely helps and also using control freaks they also take time getting used to. It's not something that will just make you an amazing player the first day you use them. So you kind of got to realize that. I feel a little laggy for some reason. I'm kind of scared. There we go. <laughs> I get scared when I, I'm not sure where they're spawning. That's why I like playing TD, or, uh, TDM. That's why I like playing Domination. Because you at least know... Where they should be spawning, even though Domination and Call of Duty Ghosts is different than previous titles. Damn, TDM is such a boring game. I feel bad. Kind of. If you still have the Xbox 360 or the PS3 and are playing normal game modes, by normal I mean like TDM and 6v6. Because you can't play Ground War on the Xbox 360 or PS3, which kind of sucks. Because these maps are so big, and there's not that many players, so Ground War definitely makes up for the map size. This guy is somewhere around here. Enemy satcom spotted. The teammate or enemy behind me and a teammate. There we go. I believe there's one more enemy back there. Yes, there is, because my teammates are dying. Where are they dying from? That's the question. There he is. I'm chasing him. It's not good to chase. Oh, God. There we go. I'm out of there. I'm getting out. Because I have a feeling there's more enemies. There's definitely some more enemies close by. Sorry, guys. I might not talk that much. But I'm, tr I'm trying really hard to focus. Where are you guys? This is really uh. Really spooky. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. No, don't die, don't die, don't die. Holy God. I seen him. He was hiding. I seen him. But where did he go? He's still in there. Man. Playing TDM is so much more. Pop back out, dude. Oh, my goodness. This guy is not making it easy for me. This guy is definitely not making it easy at all. I'm going to try and go around. 
Uh oh. Riley's a guard dog somewhere. Riley's coming in hot. Riley, where are you? There he is. Not today, Riley. I'm sorry. You're not killing me today, super dog that lunges a million feet. Jesus, Riley sneaks up on you and he'll bite you and kill you, and it sucks. There's an enemy behind that corner, I think. Somewhere. My whole team is back here, but this game is still pretty close. I'm doing pretty well. But my team is still almost losing. And I believe the team I'm facing, they're not too bad. Whoops, alright. Yeah, they're not too... They're, they have a lot of high prestiges. Well, at least they're prestige. My team is full of uh, Christmas noobs. People that just got the game. And just, guys, just so you know, when I say the word noob, I don't mean it in a mean way. I mean it in a new player way. I'm going to keep saying that because I feel like, obviously, people don't like to be called a noob. Dude, where, where are these bad guys at? For some reason, I, I still feel like they're back there. This guy is drawing attention to us really bad. I like using suppressors, and it's it's not good when you have some teammate spraying away with a non-suppressed weapon. Enemy satcom spot. This specialist bonus is definitely helping me out here, but I don't like I don't like this side of the map right now. I'm gonna try and um switch it up. Cross your fingers, guys. They don't spawn behind me. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. That sucked really bad. For some reason, I had a feeling they were behind me. I knew they were, and of course they were. <laughs> this team I'm facing, they're not joking around. They want to win this game as bad as I do. And my teammate just cleaned him up. Damn it! I was on a nice streak too. And now it's gone. The second I say I don't want them spawning behind me, what do you know, I die from behind. I heard his footsteps, but it was too late because he shot me. He had the first shot. I was already dead, but if we can keep this lead, we'll win the game. Like, we're not even going to reach the score limit before the game's over. I know I was playing super tactically. I was like, I was not rushing that much. Because I was a nice spree, but I don't want to lose this game. Winnings. Who the hell is shooting? Where? Are... Oh my god, this guy's up here. He is... There, we, assisted suicide. Well, you're welcome. There we go. 20 and 2. That was my first team deathmatch gameplay. Rocking the control freaks. I gotta say, guys, I definitely prefer the ultras over the phantoms. Now, that's just my opinion. If you guys want, you guys can get them for 10% off using my discount code called Elite E L I T E, or you guys can use the link in my description to get them for 10% off. They don't have that many out for next gen, or the current gen, I guess, the current new generation for the Xbox One or the PS4, but they have so many different kinds of control freaks for the Xbox 360 and the PS3. These are called the Ultras. I like them a lot. They're very basic. They're just a black little knob with more grip, and it's taller. It's double the length, and it gives you increased accuracy. I did not mean to back out of there completely, but thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Thank you guys for all your support recently. It's been tremendous and it's making me so happy and I'm glad you guys enjoy my content. But as I always say guys, it's Elite Shot here, aka Sean, your friendly COD fanboy. I'm signing out. Peace.